Welcome back. I remember these things come to life. I don't remember how I trigger it, though. I said something to I'm here. Well, there we go. That answered that. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at all the reds. Wow. Here we go. Time for a little bloodletting, I see. Mm. This should be easy enough. Actually, I'm sort of grateful for the fighting. Get blood all over you again. Take them down. Let's fight more dying black. Oh, I love these frost spells. It's so weird playing um you know, a game like this after playing Eve and I haven't I've sort of been sliding on playing Eve. Too. Uh because I'm still going through the tutorials. It uh, is sort of surreal. Um, actually, uh, you know, I'm subscribed to Rift, and it's a MMO similar in style to World of Warcraft. But, and just like World of Warcraft, there's balancing issues that have to be dealt with. And particularly, I mean, it's ex expected that Tryon would have balancing issues. It's a new game. And the same thing happened in WoW. Uh, when it first launched, there was balancing issues. They still have balancing issues. But particularly at the beginning of the game, um, when a game first launches, that right. first year is about cleaning up the stuff that they didn't know would happen, along with Treon, you know, is very aggressive about adding new content. So while they're adding new content, you know, they're trying to tweak. And I was looking at a video which perfectly describes why I haven't logged on in that game in a while. If you remember, I, or maybe you don't if you didn't watch or don't so remember, I said that after playing a melee character in Dragon Age 2, I was really feeling playing um, melee in Rift. So as a cleric, I can play melee, I can play ranged, and I can heal. And actually, I could even off tank if I just wanted to. Right now, I'm down. So, I just switched up my spec so that I would have some melee and some range. Because what frustrates me as melee is when a ranged, you know, person, mob, or whatever, is shooting their hitting or, you know, killing me from far and I have to run up on them and then they might snare me or you know something like that and I understand that's you know the weakness of every every uh skill set like that should have you know a weakness and so that they're not invulnerable mm. and godlike perhaps I could have a try at that now see that's what I'm talking about I respect him and he's doing really really well <clears throat> but what's happened is is that your warrior class and your melee class are so gimped right now nobody wants to play one and when you have a game like WoW where you can relatively easily easily level then um, you know what's going to happen is you, so you don't like or particularly in Rift in WoW unless you play a hybrid you're just sort of screwed. You have to re-roll. In Rift, unless you pl if you play a hybrid like I do, all you have to do is respec. And literally, you're playing a completely different character. Um, a perfect example of this is um, in World of Warcraft, if you play a druid, you can play range, you can melee, you can tank. Okay? But you're not going to be really e as efficient as uh, someone who specializes in, you know, um, like a mage. You're, you're not supposed to be as good as a mage because that's all a mage can do is DPS. Range DPS, that's all they can do. So they should be technically at the top along with warlocks. <clears throat> that kind of uh, the theory, in theory. Well, in Rift, <laughs> that's not the case. But what ended up happening was is that people, like warriors, 
they w that were melee, <clears throat> they just <laughs> disappeared and became extinct almost because it was painful to play one. And I was looking at a video where in uh, this boss fight, the majority of the people were ranged. And there was just like one or two, you know, melee. I think there was three, like two, a tank, an off tank, and then this other guy. <clears throat> but he kept dying. He just kept dying. And he wasn't dying because he was in front of the dragon, you know, holding all the aggro. He was on the side in the... Oh, guess who died? <laughs> um, in the back, on the side. Wasn't, you know, doing any the, the main damage. He didn't even have aggro. And he just died instantaneously. It was just like one shot at here, one shot at there. Now, the problem that I experience is that when I go to do, you know, like a rift or something like that, there are no warriors or melee people that can tank. So what ends up happening is I get aggro and I get the, oh, God. Hmm. I get this the the mobs on me and I can't do anything about it. So I haven't been logging in Rift much because of that because that I I realize that they have some balancing issues and I'm perfectly willing to wait it out you know until they figure it out. I have to save Alistar. Right. Unfortunately, I just froze him. Man, there's a lot of mobs here. Hmm. I'm gonna have to give him another potion or two or three or four or five. We should be able to take them out pretty quickly. Man, his health goes down fast. Mm. Oh, good. Got it in him. Otherwise, I would have had to restart this fight. I can take him out now. No problemo. So, yeah, um, I haven't been in Rift much. And I didn't mean to click over there. Oopsies. But I'll make the most of it. Get a better position. <laughs> Freeze Alistar again. Hurry. Okay. Um. I am ready. Okay. Now with Eve, I'm sure they have their own set of balancing issues that I have not encountered because I'm like a super noob in the game. But I uh, do like that idea of there not being a level cap per se. And I'm enjoying the fact that I am leveling my skills in Eve while I'm playing Dragon Age 2. Uh, or not Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age Origins. I'm loving that. So, I get a kick out of the fact that my skills are leveling while I'm asleep. But, with all that efficiency, one of the big complaints I hear, well not big complaints, but one of the complaints that I hear is that it's a game that makes you wait. A lot so even with all of that efficiency I guess there's a lot of waiting involved and I saw a video uh, of a guy they actually had a six hour long fleet mission where they were trying to take out player um, 
player-made uh, buildings, I guess. And these buildings, you hit on them until they get to be 25%, and then, um, then it goes into an invulnerable mode, and then you come back and do it again. But this time, the four, the, they can defend the uh, their station. And if not, then it'll just blow up the Smith and Marines. But uh, it does give the opposing faction or players the opportunity to defend because you can't be on the game 24-7, of course. So I think that's a good built-in mechanic. However, some of these uh, stations have a lot of hit points on them. And this one fleet... They did like two or three little minor ones that took about an hour or two, a couple hours to do. But this last one, I mean, they had to do these other ones to get to the main one, I guess. And the man, the last one, this should be easy. they beat on that thing for three freaking hours. Three hours. I, I'm not the one. <laughs> I am not the one. It took that long to get it down to 25%. And the guy filming the video was like, I have to go to bed. Because I have to go to work to the next day, you know. I do not have six hours. I would be so fidgety. But one of the things that he was saying in the video is that they sort of had to wait, I guess, to coordinate. And He mentioned the phrase, he had, they have to hurry up to, to wait. And it's just a part of the game. So I'm wondering, like I said, I don't have to do PvP. <laughs> and and beating on something, I can't imagine using up that much ammo. Even in, you know, like a dungeon, if it takes three hours, you're not beating on one thing that whole entire time. I would, that's like Snoozeville to me. But then you know going in that it's going to be like that because... It's a building or a structure with a lot of hit points because it's been there for a while, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm not the one. It's six hours worth of raiding. But then people do that in WoW all the time, so. And not only WoW, but other MMOs. You look up and six hours have gone by. But that's very tedious, in my opinion. Just my opinion. But he said he had fun, and I guess that's, in the end, that's all that matters. Okay, sorry about that. I stopped the game for a second. Um, I have my headphones on, and I'm recording with headphones and mic, and I heard this BOOM! And you know with the the fight going on I'm like that wasn't the fight so I paused a second to see uh, what was going on and <laughs> a car is um, I think a car backfired because a, a little bit down the ways they, they look like they're working on a car Go away. bad time she to be doing like it though because it's dark she'll just try to hurt you who's she, she? oh who's yeah she my dreams She's quiet now, but she's never very far. I tried to stop her, but I can't. She said she'd helped father. I didn't think she'd hurt everyone. Honestly, I didn't. The uh, desire demon, the she sexy said that was why one. You're here. I want to help father too. She knew I did. That's why she came to me. She's a bad person. I heard her in my dreams. And then she was everywhere. I do wonder how he can go in and Sometimes out of control nice. like this. She says she just wants to help me. But then she gets very mean. Demons are liars. She won't tell me. She says names have power. I mean, that but doesn't make much sense. From hurting anyone else. I 
I don't know how much longer she'll be gone for, but she's always watching. She won't let you near father. She'll just come back again, and then... Just tell everyone to stay away, especially mother. I don't want her to see me like this. See, no, she this is her. Anywhere. Anyway. Yeah, this is her. No, I'm not buying you. that this is not her. She'll get Oops. Was I not supposed to go that way? Shit. I take that as a yes. What the hell? Oh. Ain't that a bitch? She blocks me in and she's orange. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Definitely not the time to have a giggle fit. Uh, yeah. So, um... Guess I shouldn't have done that. So, now that she's fully possessed him, I t guess the boy is dead? Let's get started. Oh, that would be rather unfortunate, ah, really wouldn't it? Very accidental, too. Um, hmm. Yeah, now I'm really not feeling that that was the boy at that time. I mean, she's yeah, fully yeah. possessed. She's blocked three doors. She's always watching. I think she was trying to con like they do in the Fade. Which reminds me, I really don't want to go in the Fade. I might hit kill this boy just so I don't have to go in the fade. <laughs> I hate the fade. I remember there were these annoying puzzles. Like you had to turn into different things like a mouse or a golem kind of thing or something like that and solve these puzzles that I thought were... And, and get don't get me wrong, I like puzzle games, but these were annoying to me on an upper level that, you know, oh, it just annoyed me. And it seemed like it dragged out. I guess I don't like puzzle games in my RPGs. I like puzzles in my puzzles. <laughs> when I sit down to play a puzzle game, I mean, that's one thing that used to annoy me about God of War 3. I don't want puzzles in my fighting game. I'm, I'm playing a fighting game because I want to whoop some ass. I'm not playing a fighting game because I want to solve freaking puzzles. So, I don't know. I may, I, oh, I don't want to go into the fade. If I do go into the fade, you can best be sure that I am going to pull up whatever wiki to find out how to get in and out of there as fast as possible. I did it, you know, without cheating the first time. And, oh, it just, it seemed like the fade was endless endless why can't I put that there wait a minute I'm so busy mouthing off about the fade okay wait yeah that's what I well okay I need to drinky drinky something cuz my heel is okay there we go 14 all right much better Very well. <laughs> So yeah, I um will definitely be hating the fade. Hating the fade. Let's get started. It just seems so long and endless. Okay, come on. Well, I guess I better. Yeah. Okay. Gave Zev on a heel. Okay, what are we waiting on? Dunsies. But we can't get out the room. There we go. <laughs> I didn't think I, I was so busy mouthing off that I forgot that I killed the desire demon. <clears throat> She's gonna go down quick now. Okay. Well, the desire demon is actually the boy, so. Stop! Stop! Don't hurt him! Please. 
please. Have mercy on him. He's just a boy. He doesn't deserve this. Oh, here we go. There must be another option. The Circle must know some spell, or we could bring him to the Cathedral in Benelim. They, they could exorcise him. Make her help me. There must be some other way. Don't kill my baby. I'm begging you. Sin's looking at her like, it's gonna happen. That's a hard choice. But I wouldn't want my child to live as a demon, though. Don't ask me to choose between them. I can't do that. I can. You're a woman. What if this was your son? Tell me you wouldn't move the mountains to save him. Not if it would mean that he would have to be potentially haunted by demons. Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this. Connor? Connor, can you hear me? It's mother. If that demon comes out, I swear to God. I, it hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts. It's all right, darling. He'll find a way to stop the demon. Can you stand up? Oh, woman! If no. I crushed father's throat, would you watch? Would you cry? You are pathetic. I tried. Don't. Don't talk like that. Connor, come back. Please. Don't go. Say goodbye. I called her mother. It hurts. Make it stop. I... I will, baby. I will. I'll... Make the pain stop. Please. Leave me alone with him. You were right. He can't be helped. Nope. Oh. What good could come of such evil? I can't watch him be in such pain any longer. I am his mother. I brought Connor into this world. Let me do what must be done. I don't trust I beg her. I you. I don't, I don't trust her. How could you even take this away from me? One day, you will have your own child. And then you will understand. No mother wants to kill their own child. You're lying, bitch. It hurts. Do it won't hurt much then, longer. Grey Warden. May the Maker forgive us all. Okay. Oh, Alistair's gonna be pissed. She what brought this on herself. Done? You brought this on yourself. He was just a boy. No, he was a demon. Because you tried to break the rules. so hard to save him. And what am I left with? Nothing. You do have a husband. How long Eamon will survive now that the demon cannot sustain him? Will I lose my whole family, do you think? You should no. have thought about that before you went down this I path. I wish to mourn my son now. Give me that at least. Fine. I'm, I should feel bad right now, but... I don't because it's her actions that caused this to turn out like this. Her trying to hide him being a mage.
all the deaths so unnecessary all because of her okay um this is a long one so i'll be right back <laughs> 